napkins, all sorts of napkins, really cute ones, spring themed ones with birds, one with leaves, one for a party and birthdays, but the thing is they're all wrapped in plastic, in like a lot of plastic, and the thing with napkins is, you use it once, and then it's trash. So how about we create something that we can use forever? If you've sewn before, you might have a lot of leftovers. Different fabric types, styles and colors. And if we use those, we successfully upcycle some scrap. You might want to test and touch your fabrics to see if they're sturdy enough but still soft. I'll go with these four. They feel pretty good for our purpose. Let's take one of the paper napkins to check how big it is. I'm going to measure it. And it's 33 by 33 centimeters. That's about 13 by 13 inches. I'll just write that down. Now I take my fabric and lay it out flat. I've got this little plant friend here who helps preventing the fabric from falling down. Now I'm just checking how many napkins are fitting more or less on my piece and mark my 33 centimeters. Unfortunately I forgot the seam allowance so just make sure to add about one inch or two centimeters of seam allowance. My napkins are going to be a little bit smaller now but it's not that bad. Now I cut it out and what you can see now in this picture is where I got this fabric from. I made a skirt out of it last summer and got a lot of leftovers. For the next step we need an iron board, an iron of course, and a lot of pins. What we want to do first is trim off all the corners, because the napkins are going to be very bulky if we don't. So lay them all flat on top of each other and be very precise. Then we're gonna cut off the corners. So take a ruler and measure about 2 cm or 1 inch from the corner point. Mark this on all four corners. Draw a line if it helps to be precise and then cut them all off. Now look at the edge of your first napkin and fold it over a little bit less than a centimeter, about a quarter of an inch. And press it down with the iron. Then you want to fold it over a second time and press it down again. To make sure everything stays in place, take a few pins and pin it down. Then you proceed and do this with all the edges on all your napkins. There are a few different ways to handle the corners. In this case I just decided to flip it over and pin it down. Now let's go to the sewing machine. I've decided to go with a light blue thread, but just take what matches or highlights your fabric best. I'm starting with a normal straight stitch around the outer edge, and then go another round with a zigzag stitch around the inner edge to make it nice and sturdy.
Now I'm just trying a few techniques to fold it. So I press it down, fold it once, fold it twice. I made some more out of another fabric and you can fold them like a triangle for example. You can stand up straight or you can go crazy. This fabric by the way was used for a cute little elephant you can see in the corner right now. Voila! Since these napkins are not made of paper, you can easily wash and reuse them. <laughs>